training run, Sunday long run. Except it's not Sunday, is it? It's Saturday. Saturday. So this, it's all right. We can edit that bit out. It's fine. This is my last long run before Brighton Marathon. So I'm doing, Victoria's doing two loops. I'm doing the second loop with Victoria, but she's already done nine miles and this is our second loop. Uh, what are you hoping I've done for? I've more than nine miles. You did nine miles and now you've done the second loop. So, oh. na so now we're on, oh, I don't know, 16 miles. Uh, we're walking along Worthing Seafront. Listen, this weekend is all about celebrating inspirational women in running. And I've been running today with two of the most inspirational women I know. You'll make me blush. Oh, you weren't talking no, no, about talk me. No, <laughs> um, So uh, my uh, daughter, Elsa, has been training for the past... Our daughter. Sorry, our daughter. Elsa has been training for the past uh, month or so to uh, beat her parkrun PB, which she is over... a few years ago, wasn't yeah, it? Over six years old, her parkrun PB. My arm's aching, let me swap over. So Elsa lost the love of running. She has found her love of running. She has been uh, working steadily over the last few weeks. She's been taking herself off to the gym. She's been doing park run each weekend. She did uh, a Zwift run last night with me. She's been focused. So. So she's, she's been uh, training for the past four or five weeks, I'd say, deliberately to try and beat her parkrun PB. And she's using it as part of her Duke of Edinburgh bronze award. Oh yeah, she's doing Duke of Edinburgh. So this morning we set off, although we were a bit late because we, we planned to get up early and leave early and do a nice warm up and drills and all sorts of stuff. And like all teenagers, she went to bed late. And like all middle-aged men trying to uh, create a video at the last minute, I went to bed late as well. So uh, got up late. So we got up late, but we did make it to Parkrun by the start. Um, and Elsa just absolutely focused and said, right, I am on this. I know I got up late, but that's, that's in the past. We are going for this. We planned for it to be today. Let's do it. And we went for it. And she was amazing. It was quite windy here this morning. So running out on the park run course, the first two kilometers were quite windy, uh, but she kept to her guns. Look, here's the park run sign. This is our, this is our turning point at park run. So th that's about, that's about 2.3 K into park run. So we turned around there and then we had the wind behind us and she absolutely smashed it on the way back and she crossed the finish line of Parkrun uh, with a PB uh, of 26 minutes and 40 seconds. Her previous PB Lap 11, was 27 8, 19. minutes and 20 seconds. So absolutely fantastic. Blown away by her determination to achieve and blown away by what she did today. She really is awesome. And she literally can switch her brain very similar to how it feels like I can just flick a switch. Yeah, and, and you know, the second inspirational woman that I've run with today, as much as I hate to admit it, is my wife, Victoria. Uh, I'm gonna swap over again now. My, I, can hold, I can only hold the phone for like a few seconds before my arm hurts. Amy Green says, well done, Elsa. Uh, Kingsley says, where are you running? Well, we're not running at the moment. We're taking a walking break because the last time we filmed a live whilst running, it was very, very wobbly. So I said, let's walk while we do the live. But we are um, Worthing Seafront. Worthing Seafront, Worthing Promenade, uh, which is our local running. We only live a couple of miles, a mile or so. A couple of miles? A couple of miles from here. Uh, so we're just on our way back home. Uh, Victoria is, um, is uh, going to do 20 miles today. So... By the time we get home, it'll be 18 miles. I'll go in, um, make myself a nice cup of coffee. Victoria is going to carry on and do another two miles. Another two miles. So yeah, the, the other inspirational woman in my life is Victoria. You all know, I hope you all know, uh, what Victoria did last year and indeed the year before um, in her running four 100 milers last year, uh, the, uh, the OCC race in Chamonix, 
three marathons in three countries in three weeks last year. So a, a phenomenal year for Victoria last year. This year we've been ill, uh, as you all know, uh, but Victoria is now on it, training for the Brighton Marathon. Uh, she's had a couple of weeks of getting some long runs in and this is the last big long run before Brighton Marathon on April the 7th, which I'll be running as well. Victoria is going to be trying to pace at around five hours. I'm going to try and pace some friends of ours on Zwift uh, for about um, five, uh, four hours. So that's, that's our plan. A huge thank you for all of your support. It really does mean a lot. And of course, the reason we're celebrating, uh, you know, one of the other reasons that we're celebrating inspirational women in running is a phenomenal achievement. If you haven't seen it yet, go and check out the video I released last night. Jasmine Paris, one of the UK's foremost ultra runners, last night uh, created sporting history, running history. It was nail biting stuff. Oh, truly, my. truly inspiring. If you don't know about the Barclay Marathons, it is the only race where there's no live coverage, there's no regular updates on Instagram or well there are but it's like there's no regular video updates or anything like that. Runners are not allowed GPS watches. Um, yeah and it, there's, a, there's a little bit of mystery and secretiveness to the, the whole thing. Um, Huge it's, amount of elevation. Oh yeah the, the elevation is uh, t basically twice up Everest. So uh, what well, Everest is about 8,000 meters, so 16,000 meters of elevation gain. Putting that into context, uh, the UTMB run uh, that I did last year, one of the most famous uh, and, and arguably um, uh, one of the most popular ultra running events in the world, um, has 10,000 meters of elevation gain. So the Barclay Marathons is well over 100 miles, five loops of Frozen Head State Park in uh, Tennessee organised by the very famous Lazarus Lake and uh, um, yeah it's, it, I mean they say it's a 20 mile loop done five times but it's well over 20 miles and they have to find to make sure that they've been to various checkpoints they have to pull out pages from a book and bring them back to Laz at the end and if you haven't got all the pages from your book you are disqualified it's you know it's, a, it's an amazing event and the only way that you can find out what's going on is by uh, checking out Twitter um, because there are regular telling you what position the runners in, how far they've got to go, etc, etc. And it's just a, a hilarious fest of uh, constantly refreshing Twitter to find out what the latest updates are. Let me just have a look at the uh, comments here. Uh, Kingsley says, ah, it looks beautiful. I'm on the Lancashire coast. Hello, Kingsley. Thank you for, for popping in. Uh, Amy says, well done, Victoria. Uh, and oh, Kingsley's now mentioning Jasmine Paris. Yes, yeah, so, uh, so, this race began in 1986. I mean, not the, you know, it hasn't been, they haven't been running it since 1986 constantly. I mean, once a year since 1986. They'd be very tired if they'd been running since 1986. Um, once a year since 1986. And in all that time, only um, 17 people up until yesterday, 17 individuals had completed the Barclay Marathons, all five loops and none of them had been women. So no woman had ever completed all five loops of the Barclay Marathons until last night, when with 90 seconds to go, Jasmine Paris touched the famous yellow gate at the end of the Barclay Marathon loop and completed the fifth loop of the Barclay Marathons. And it was a monumental moment. This, this you know, really feels like, in our small community of ultra runners, it really feels like an absolutely monumental moment. There were very excited people all around the world. Really, there were. And it was just, uh, you know, Twitter went absolutely crazy. The BBC have finally picked up on it. There is a story on the BBC website now all about Jasmine Paris completing the Barclay Marathons and being the first woman to do so. So that is why we are celebrating um, women's in, inspirational women in running this weekend. Uh, go and find out more about Jasmine Paris. Jasmine is also the first person uh, to uh, have won the spine outright, the first woman to have won the spine race outright. If you don't know what the spine race is, that is 268 miles along the Pennine Way. And um, yeah, so Jasmine won that in 2019, beating all the men and breastfeeding her child, or no, expressing milk for her child on the way round. So 
another incredible achievement from Jasmine, uh, making her just one of the UK's um, super ultra runners. So, all right, Victoria? Yes, thank you. Um, it was raining and cold and windy here um, until we got onto the seafront and now it's beautiful sunshine. And we had a beautiful double rainbow. Oh yes, which has now disappeared. Um, uh, Paul Hayward says, enjoy your afternoon run. Thank you very much. Uh, Kingsley says, you have to write an essay and say why you shouldn't be allowed to enter as part of the pro entry, entry process or why you should be allowed. I think it's why you should be allowed to enter. I'm not, maybe it is why you shouldn't be allowed to enter. Yeah, part of the entry process to the Barclay Marathons, you have to write an essay to Laz saying why you should run it. I think it's why you should run it. Uh, here is the Park Run 3K sign, look. Is that on? Yeah. Uh, so when you get to there, you know you've got two kilometres left to run. So that is us. Uh, we'll end the live stream there. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Thank you. Bye. See you soon. Uh, yeah, we'll be back um, on Zwift. We'll be back on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to the track tomorrow. We have Bright Marathon on the 7th of April, and then I've got London Marathon on the 20... Something. 20 something of April. Uh, thanks for watching, take care. Go and have a look at the video I released last night all about the uh, Barclay Marathons and Jasmine Paris's amazing, amazing run. Take care, everyone. Bye. Uh, oh, Tina says, um, well done, you two. I'm hiding from the showers. Oh, yeah, yes. I mean, it's been on and off showers all day here. Um, Kingsley says it is definitely why you shouldn't run. Okay, all right. I'll, 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 I'll roll with that. Quite happy to accept that. Um, okay, we're off. We're, we're done. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, everyone. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.